Hi everyone, uh, this is Stefan. A couple of days ago, um, I released a short tutorial uh, on how to extract the MIDI information from the Opus Orchestrator plugin. I'm coming back today with uh, version 2.0, which is, I guess, a bit more elegant and much more practical. We still have uh, an instance, obviously, of the Orchestrator uh, with an ostinato patch and with three channels which are 14, 15, and 16 for uh, the violas, the celli, and the basses. And what I did, I directly uh, created three instruments. So here we have the violas. On the next track, uh, we have the celli, short, uh, short articulation, and, and, and the basses. We have to have, uh, obviously, the orchestrator as an input for each of them and here in the MIDI insert I added a transformer plugin uh, which is which is a stock plugin it's it's it's, it's part of Cubase I, I inserted this guy with a kind of a very simple macro which is for every channel that is different from 14 then delete uh, meaning I just want to get the information from the channel 14 of the orchestrator. I did the same uh, channel 15 for the celli and I did the same uh, channel 16 for the bass. And very important for each track, I armed the record output to track button. That's, that's very important. And, and that's it. Let's start by listening to the fancy chord progression. <laughs> Right, I know you're impressed. And now, if for the purpose, for the sake of the demonstration, I will not mute because if I mute it, then you don't get any signal, but I will just reduce the gain, the volume from that track. And while I play, I start arming the other tracks. So the bass first, the celli. And a violet. So if now I decide to record this, and that's it. So we directly get uh, the information into the right instrument and since this track is locked on channel 14 you will get the information a few additional remarks first um, i would suggest using uh, key switches patches uh, for these instruments that you have created because if you decide to use several patches of the orchestrator from one to the other uh, well uh, the violas could switch from short notes to legato or sustain or whatever. So if you want to always use that viola patch that is assigned to the uh, channel 14 of the orchestrator, then you could either use uh, an expression map that you would have to create, or if you don't know or you're not very comfortable with expression map and it's a key switch, you can always open your, your, your pattern and say, okay, uh, this is uh, gonna be uh, sustain or this is gonna be short notes or whatever uh, using the various uh, key switch from your patch. Tip number two, uh, in case uh, you want to use uh, this viola patch uh, to do something on your own and not coming from the orchestrator, then it's, it's very easy. There are just two small things to do. So obviously your channel shouldn't be linked to the orchestrator, but to the old MIDI and the MIDI insert uh, should be bypassed. So if I now play on my keyboard, I can play the violas. And if you want to record one loop with uh, you playing the violas and celli basses being played by the orchestrator, you just have to do that. You launch the record and you're good to go.
and then if for the next round you decide uh, again uh, to assign violas to the orchestrator then don't forget to put the input back to the orchestrator and to remove the bypass that's it i hope it will be helpful and i wish you uh, a lot of fun uh, with east west opus and specifically with the orchestrator